everyone welcome back to my channel so we are here with another vlog because i am actually getting my eyebrows microbladed so i'm really excited because i literally hate my eyebrows um they don't really have any shape and i just think eyebrows can make the biggest difference so i'm actually running late as usual what's changed nothing but i thought i'd vlog the whole experience so you guys can see what it's like to get your eyebrows done if you're thinking about it if you're local to me you can go see the lady i'm going to see so i'm going to see someone called her instagram's like halo beauty her name's lucy and um she's actually in strood in kent so today i'm literally just going for my patch test because you have to have a patch test at least 20 24 hours before i believe um so just to make sure that you don't react to any of the dyes or I don't know what they use, but anything like that. But yeah, I'm just going for my patch test today, my consultation. So I've literally got to leave like now. But I'm bringing you along with me and I will wait, talk to you when I'm there. So I tend not to talk through this because it's quite a lot of information. It's a couple of pages to go through. I always let people read through it first and I can talk about it afterwards. Yeah, that's fine. So this is just before the treatment. So if you have had coffee, penicillin. I don't have any caffeine. Oh, okay. That's absolutely fine. And the only reason we say just before the treatment is because sometimes it can make you lose a bit more. Um, the hair wash thing, if you haven't done it tomorrow, I'd recommend washing your hair tonight or tomorrow. I was going to wash it tonight. That's perfect because you can't get, it, can't get your brows up for seven days yeah. after. Well, gonna... um, the next page is just the medical form. So yeah. that's going through any medication that you're taking, any uh, medical conditions that I need to be aware of, just on yeah. this page here. Okay, so with this one, it's just walking through the actual um, procedure, so what you can expect. Focus. So I just thought I'd quickly show, I've just had them drawn on and they look a lot thicker right now because they're not going to be this thick tomorrow but that's the kind of shape we're going for and we've just tested like what colour we want but and then Lucy will do them tomorrow when I'm back and it'll be a bit of a longer process because we'll obviously perfect them so yeah. I've also had my patch test done so that's on, coming home with a new tattoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So it's the day I'm going to get them done. I'm actually really nervous. I've just, oh my god, it looks like I'm crying. I'm not. I've just put saline solution in my eyes because my contact lenses so are dry. But um, obviously, you saw like I did a full on consultation. Patch test was fine. Um, she drew them out and everything like that. So hopefully, it should be fine. I hope it won't hurt. But obviously, I'll be completely honest afterwards. Um, I'm going to try and film while she's doing it. But yeah, so I'm going to leave to go get them done now. And when you next see me, hopefully I'll have brows. <gasps> you have your brow? Yeah. <gasps> okay, that shape <laughs> is unbelievable. Oh my god, I can't believe how natural good they look. <laughs> You happy with him? Yeah, that is. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I have eyebrows. <laughs> As you can see, I'm now back home. I hope you enjoyed seeing my reaction. Um, ignore the state of me. Do you know what? I think you guys are just used to that now. But I'm in my PJs and all that. But yeah, you can see my brows. They are so red. Um, I literally just messaged her and was like, um, they're going more red. And she said, yeah, it's because of the skin underneath. Like, my eyebrows aren't going to end up ginger. But, so, um, but yeah, like, I won't lie, it did really hurt. But she used this really, really good numbing cream. It was called, like, Tag 45 or something and it was so so good like because she didn't put the numbing cream on for the first because she did like the outline and then rubbed off the pencil and then did it and she didn't put the numbing cream on for the outline and it did oh no she put the pre-numbing cream on and then did the outline and oh my god it was painful and they just feel really sore now like they feel bruised and stiff and weird but she gave me like this little pot um of cream she said i literally only need that much i just need to apply it once 
a day. So I'm going to do it every night. So I'm just going to apply that now. Can't believe how red my eyebrows are underneath. I thought that my actual eyebrows were red when I was taking pictures and sent it to my friend. Oh, this hurts. Oh wow, a little bit really goes a long way, everyone. Just to let you know. Just have to put this on once a night and if they're really scabby, I can put a little bit, put it on like twice a day. But I'm so happy with them. I think they look really natural. Obviously, they've got to heal and everything. So she said they'll get so they'll get darker over the next few days and then they'll actually get lighter and then they'll darken again and then I'll have my top up in six weeks. But I'm really, really happy with the results. Um, what I'm going to do for the next seven days, I'm going to try and film every day and show you how they're doing, what the healing process is like. I'll probably do it when I'm putting the cream on because then I'll just do it every night. But I'm really happy I got them done. I've been wanting them done for probably about a year. And I keep like, I went to a few people, had a few consultations and then found Lucy. She's actually friends with my sister's boyfriend and I was like, okay, yeah, I want them done. And I'm so happy I got them done. They just look a bit, a bit mental right now because of they're a little bit swollen and red. But I can't wait to see them once they've healed. So yeah, I'm going to go off to bed now and I will speak to you tomorrow evening when I'm putting the cream on and we can see how they are. So I'm about to go to work, but I thought I'd really quick... Oh, it's the next morning, by the way. I thought I'd really quickly just show you um, what my brows look like the morning after. They're still a little bit red toned, but as I said, I said that'd be normal. Um, I actually love the shape of them. But yeah, so um, this is just what they look like the morning after. But... Yeah. Hello everyone, it is now the evening of Wednesday, so I had my eyebrows done last night. So it's been about 24 hours, a bit more, probably about 26. But I actually just managed to wash my face, so I just used a flannel, because obviously you're not supposed to get them wet for 7 to 10 days. I just used a flannel and cleansed my face last night, and this morning I was too scared too. I'm just going to put the cream on, but this is what they're looking like. I think the colours, let me just... I think the colour's definitely sorting itself out a little bit more now. Um, I'm just trusting the process though. They're definitely starting to feel a little bit crustier. So I might put a little bit more on. Like last night this went on really smoothly. Tonight it is feeling a little bit crustier. Yeah, the only thing that I'm slightly worried about is the colour. But I've done research and even... Um, Lucy's told me that obviously because I've had a dark brown colour it's going to have a little bit of a red undertone so for the first couple of days like whilst it's all healing it can look a little bit different but I think I'm overreacting by saying it looks like ginger it really doesn't look ginger at all and it's definitely getting better so yeah so i'm gonna go to bed now good evening everyone i am back so this is day two so this is um oh, i just tried to pop a spot can you tell this is thursday evening and this okay i have to take my glasses off this is what my brows are looking like again i think the colors already changed not changed i think it's definitely soft and um, got like more brown um yeah, so I'm just going to... They haven't really got very scabby. Let me just put you in the light. They haven't actually got very scabby at all. Um, so, I'm just going to put the cream on. Um, I haven't been touching them. I've been making sure that I'm not touching them unless I'm putting the cream on. Yeah, this is day two. I think, depending if they change much tomorrow, I might skip tomorrow and like do day four or something. Just... If there's not much change, you don't want to just see seven days of my eyebrows looking the same. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Hi everyone, so it is actually Sunday. I think I said I was maybe going to film last Saturday. But yeah, so it's Sunday. So I had my eyebrows on Tuesday, so this is day five. So, update on the brows. The colour has definitely gone a lot more like dark brown compared to what they were um they're healing really nicely they're a little bit itchy they're not really scabby though maybe a little bit but and that's only been today and yesterday they've got a bit itchy so it's all good so maybe i'll show you on what they look like on tuesday when it's been a week 
Hi, so this is Tuesday night, so it's actually a week since I had my eyebrows done. Um, yeah, I'm wearing makeup, but I haven't put anything on my brows whatsoever. So this is a week after getting them done. They've definitely faded. But as I said before, she said they usually get darker, then they fade, and then they kind of equal out a bit, and then you get your top up. So the colours definitely sort itself out, that's for sure. Um, but I'm probably going to say, like, at the top up, to do more on the archy bit where there's less hair. But she said she was going to do that anyway, but that's not her fault. I just said I want it really, really natural. And then obviously at the top up, I can top up what I want. But this is a week since getting them done so what i'll try and do is maybe do in another week's time what it's like so this is one week after getting them done hello it is officially april 12th and if you're from the uk you know exactly what that means i've been waiting for this appointment for four months four months okay so, first day that I was able to, I have booked to get my eyebrows topped up. I am so... Oh, my room. Let's, let's, just, let's just hide that. I am so excited. Like, you're supposed to get your eyebrows topped up after six weeks. And it's been four months. Well, probably longer than four months, because I've been like five months. Because I'm done in December. So, no, like four or five months. But they look... They still look like... If you look at the before and afters, like you can definitely tell, but they def they need their top up. And um, Lucy did say that we'll top them up today, and then I may need another top up just because of the um, how long it's been since I got them done. So I might need like a, th a second top up in another six weeks. But I cannot wait. Look at orange mouth. But I cannot. I'm Honestly, this is the appointment I've been... Oh, I can hear my mum on the phone, hang on. Some people are excited to go back to the gym to get their lashes done. Mine's my eyebrows. Like, I've not spoken to you guys in four months. Last time you saw me, it was probably like the recovery of it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Honestly, can't not wait. Also, if you see that, I got my lips done. Um, What's my lips? There you go. But I only got it done Friday, so they're very bruised and swollen. But that was all COVID safe because it was done by my dentist. So that's fine. But I'm going to see Lucy. My appointment's in like an hour, so I'm going to leave in a minute because I don't want to be late because I'm very excited. And I'm going to get my eyebrows tapped up. So I'll talk to you when I'm there. So I'm sitting on my floor. Oh, baby, you're in it. <laughs> so I've been back a couple of hours, but I had to go and view some gyms and things. So, eyebrows. She's back, baby. Got the brows. So yeah, I didn't film the process or anything this time because like you've seen that before in when I first got them done. But she said she doesn't even think that um she used a different blade and she was like, I don't even know if you're gonna need them topped up for a third time. Um obviously they look quite dark and everything right now, but obviously we all know from the last time that give it um a couple of days, a week or two and they won't be like this. Like they'll get darker and then they'll probably get lighter again. Or they get lighter and then they get darker again. But yeah, so these are the brows. That's the brows. So she's changed her aftercare this time. So instead of doing um last time I did dry healing so I didn't use any water I didn't get them wet at all for like two weeks or however long it was this time she wants me to wash them because she thinks that she, you get better results so I want to do what she says so I've got my balm and I'm going to wash them um twice a day she told me to get some baby soap so I need to get some of that and then I can just lightly wash them oh, I'm so happy I got it done again but yeah so I will update you tonight when I wash them for the first time. So starting off this clip, the same way I start all of them, saying excuse the state of me, it is Monday night. And it's been a week since I had my brows topped up. Oh. So I'm so happy with them. Like, I think they look so good. So, so, so happy with them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the 
um, extra top up because the way that brows heal, and I probably spoke about this before, they get lighter and then they get darker. So obviously they're still healing. It takes about, I think it takes about two weeks for them to fully heal. So it's been a week, but I thought I'd just show you what they look like after a week. Then I'll show you what they look like in a week's time and then I'll probably end the video because it's been dragging on a bit now. But yeah, this is my brows. This is my brows. Good evening, so it's the following Monday, so another week later, so two weeks since I had my eyebrow top up. I'm having such a bad breakout and it's night time, so I'm getting ready for bed. My hair's greasy, about to wash it, just standard. But I thought I'd show um, my final like eyebrows two weeks after they've been topped up. So I'm really happy with them. I think they look so good so so happy with them yeah i think the whole process has been so good and i would highly recommend lucy if you want to get your eyebrows microbladed and all her details will be linked down below but yeah so i hope you enjoyed this whole process and watching this video and um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video